Hi, Zeppa here. Today, I'm making this video to answer a simple question. Should you kill the giant mole? For those who don't know, the giant mole is located in the Falader Park and all you need to kill it is a spade, a light source and some sort of a weapon. You can use a crystal armor with Bofa, you can use the Osmantan's Fang like I'm using here with some melee armor, you can use a whip, you can use Darox and bring your HP to 1 with using like a rock cake or a locator orb or you can use a Tebow or Tumakin Shadow which are pretty much the highest kills per hour but those cost a bit more to use if you have the Falander Shield 4 or 3 it'll be so much nicer to get the mole down as you will have the mole locator effect on your shield so you can always see where the mole is with an arrow you go down here to the cavern where the mole is apparently there's someone in this world so i'm not gonna crash him i'm just gonna hop worlds let's see if i can find a free one okay so i found a world what you do here is you pray piety and pray protect from melee i'm using the osmantin's fang which in my opinion works perfectly here it hits very accurately and you can always get a few hits in before the mole digs that's the first kill and you always get the mole skin and the mole claw which are the main drops here and you can trade these in in falador get some bird nests so you can make saradom in bruce and that's the main reason i have done mole this boss is very chill you just stand still auto retaliate and once the mole digs you will just have to follow him wherever you can see on the minimap i have the mole locator it's very easy to find the giant mole nothing too fancy with this boss the pet is the big ticket item which is one out of 3k drop rate i would definitely suggest you go for this pet as it's one of the best looking it looks you can transform it to look like these baby moles which are the small hairless pink thingies the aesthetic is is absolutely off the charts but yeah mole spawns really quick and with the amount of kills i'm getting which is saying now 61 kills per hour i don't know how accurate this is for the long run but even getting 50 kills per hour means over 1 mil profit. So the profit from the skin and claws is very nice. And of course you have to use some prayer potions to keep your prayer up and stamina potions. So it's not completely free and there's some supply cost. But as I'm used, not using the Tumekin Shadow and I'm not using the Twisted Bow or anything. I'm not using that much money kill the boss so it's almost purely profit which is very nice and yeah you never have to worry about dying here if you do darox make sure you have the melee prey on but for me it doesn't matter if i take one hit from the mole like he doesn't hit that hard into bandos so it's fine i can play pretty relaxed and just have quick prayers on whenever i need to and if i tank a hit i'm not instantly dead i think the mole is better than most of the semi afk methods to get money it's nice to have the pet chance and it's nice that you get decent combat xp as well i personally would say if you don't have the pet and you want a bald mole to follow you you should do giant mole that's it for the video Thank you very much for watching. This was a quick one. This is the video everyday challenge day 26 out of 31. Zeppa out. Peace.